Hello everyone, welcome to the Ghouli Animation channel. It's been a while since I released a tutorial video about Moho. Sorry everyone. Today I will show you how to make a sacrifice scene in a cartoon. Actually, that's my personal way of doing it. If you find it effective, you can follow it. First you can see I use three characters to make this transformation scene. A normal pig still has basic bones so it can move, walk, run, and jump. The second pig stood upright like a human and was larger than the first pig. It is called the intermediate pig. For the purpose of switching between the first pig and the third pig, which is the pig after the transformation is complete, I just rigged it very simply, a few bones to make it move its arms. Here I use two different hand states because I want it to gradually change one hand, then change the other hand. It looks silly. Finally, there is the second pig, which is the pig in its final state after transformation. It will still have the same bones as the second pig, plus a smiling and angry expression. In addition, here I have additional hand states to help this pig move in a more flexible state. I use the Vitruvian tool to create three different hand states. You can see it here. Okay. Now let's look at the keyframing step to see how we put these three pigs together to create a complete, continuous motion. For the first pig, I will let it stand on two legs, then move the right arm and pull it out to create a shape like the second pig. I'll slow it down for you to see. For the second pig, I will only transform the right arm, leaving the left arm the same as the first pig, because I want to transform slowly. Then I'll work on the left arm, making it look like a flesh arm but making it smaller, then enlarge it with the right arm. Similarly, I will pose so that the second pig resembles the third pig. You can see I'm trying to make it look similar in shape. Finally, the third pig appeared. I applied the principle of motion. When I made it transform, the pig rose up and then returned to its normal position. Add a little inertia and force to make it look more realistic. Okay, let's review the process. It's not difficult for you to do. Grasp the principles of movement and try it out. It will be very interesting when you create it. Good luck. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my support channel. Thanks, everyone.